Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gaz here, and for today's video, I have something awesome. Over the last few months to six months to the year, lots of people have been asking me, Mad Gaz, why can't I get the police outfit? Why can't I get the police costumes and stuff like that? Well, now I'm going to show you. So what you want to do is go into the GD Online session with a friend, and I'm doing this glitch with All Stars XD2K. Now, if you want to go check out his content for GD, it's got some amazing stuff on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But for this glitch to work, what you want to do is load up the menu for the job selection and go to Versus and select Crooked Cop Versus Mission. And once this mission loads up, you're just going to set your options. You want to change the Versus clothing. You want to put that to classic clothing and this will enable us to get the police outfit inside of this mission so go ahead change that to classic and then set whatever your options you want i like to put it in the daytime so it's a bit more brighter and easier to see what goes on but if you want to do this in nighttime then fair enough but i set it at noon confirm the sentence then invite your friends and when it's all done go into the menu now select your team and you want to be on the criminals team and set yourself as justice and this will give you the police outfit with the hat uh, your friend will get the criminal outfit for this one obviously if you want your friend to get the police outfit you obviously switch over for the next time you do this mission so ready up the mission and let's get into this right now when the mission starts all you want to do is have you and your friend head to the location i'm putting on the map now this is the wall breach location for the police station and it is over next to the bridge near downtown area. So you want to set a marker around about there roughly so you know where it is and head straight to this location where the wall breach is. Right now, once you reach this location, what you're going to do for the next part of this glitch is ring up Merriweather and have them send a helicopter to your destination so you can get a parachute that you can use inside of the wall glitch. Now, you can't do this without a parachute. If you've got a parachute already, then you don't need to ring up Merriweather, but nine times out of ten, you will not have a parachute. So ring up Merriweather, get them to bring a helicopter, get inside the helicopter, and get a free parachute from them. Now, once you're in the helicopter and you've got your free parachute, just land that damn thing, crush your friend if you really want to crush them. It'll be fun. Am I going to hit him? Nope. Right, so we now have a parachute free courtesy of Merriweather. Let's do this next part of this awesome glitch. Okay, so now what you want to do is have you or your friend drive a car into the security gates behind the police station and park up roughly where he is parking right about now and you should be able to climb into the wall breach quite easy, quite easy. Just walk along the ledge and keep flicking jump and you will eventually jump up into the actual wall cavity and under the bridge and under the map like so. It looks awesome. Right, now once you're in here, this is the tricky part guys, but I nailed this first time and I'm pretty sure you all can as well. Bring up your map and you want to put the location on your map to where I'm showing you now, which is next to, like I think it's the main center of the map, all them big crazy blocks and stuff. Stick a marker on there and that is where we are going. This is to your 10 car garage. You may be able to use this trick with other garages. If you find a map online that shows you where they are located under the map, go and try them out. But it works definitely with the 10 car garage. So I'd recommend you having a 10 car garage before you do this. And literally all you're going to do is parachute under the map like I am doing so and just hover around the area I've marked on the waypoint and eventually you will land on top of your 10 car garage that is stored away nicely under the map and I cannot believe I did this first time I really couldn't because this never happens to me as you see I fall there and I'm on well it looks like I'm on thin air but when you go into first person mode you'll see boom I'm in my 10 car garage and out of first person mode just to prove it there's my jetpack my jetpack my backpack my backpack parachute bag whatever and then all you want to do is you want to walk over to the elevator to go up into your apartment. And once you're in your apartment, head on down to your closet where you want to change your clothes. Click right to change clothes and press X to edit saved outfits. And all you want to do is go down to new outfit or whatever and save this as a new outfit. And I'm going to save this as cop new. So we know that this is my new cop outfit. I've got a few cop outfits I've got previously, but this is the new method to get the new cop outfit with a hat instantly. Simplest method, new with this new update, this new glitch, whatever you want to call it, guys. It's simply awesome. One of the easiest methods to obtain the cop outfit with the hat. And there you go, guys. We now have the cop outfit with the hat. 
So there you go guys, an easy glitch that you can do in GD Online to get that police outfit you've always wanted. Let's hope Rockstar don't patch this too soon and everybody can get this. But yeah, like always guys, if you like this video, stick a like on it, comment down below what you think. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I shall see you all later.